What's up guys, it's Bert back here, and we are going to be jumping back into some... Slay this fire down, Paul. Last time we had just completed the loop and got back to the Sneko. So this time I wanted to look and see what everyone's ascension level. Because yeah, some people aren't quite there, and some people are. It looks like at least everyone is on one besides the Hexagos. So we're going to go in here now and try to uh, fix that because I'd like everyone to start getting on the same ascension levels and then we can start uh, going in order once again. And I don't think we even have all the cards unlocked for all the uh, different classes, so I want to get in here. Um, let's see. Random rare card, or choose a rare card could be nice. I like the spirit brand, so I want to keep that. Common relic wouldn't be bad. So max HP, I don't think it's bad either for a rare card. Let's go with this. This will get us something to to start with. Uh, I still uh, have four soul burn all enemies, turns into six. I think we tried this last time, and I just flew the deck too much. Just a little too slow. Instant Inferno, retain. Ignite the Infernal Ghost Flame and then exhaust, or ignite the active Ghost Flame and then you ignite the Infernal Ghost Flame. Pretty good if you're going for like a Ghost Flame Ignition deck. Kiss from Beyond, a playerial, uh, unplayable Ethereal Afterlife. When an Ethereal card is exhausted, gain one energy next turn. This is pretty good. Um, you don't and draw one card next turn. Um, it doesn't have like any media effects, but pretty much just gives you four energy. You don't have to cast it, which is nice. It just does its own thing. Um, it eats one card in your hand when you get it, but you don't have to worry about playing it to gain its effect. I've been I don't think we've tried the ethereal build, so let's try it. So let's add some more ethereal cards to our deck to see what we can do here. Uh, we have one elite down at the bottom, and nothing really else interesting. Do we want to go, well, let's see how many rests we can get. Uh, two, the elite, three, four rest on the right side, and we can go for that emerald elite. Or three rest on the left side. But you guys, that's like nice. But you want to get to this path. Um, one lead here. I like the path to come. Well, two question marks, and then you come to it. Actually, we'll we'll, we'll try this for um, these four rests over here. Um, so that means we really want to recall like, first thing, because um, we're definitely going to have the opportunity to break the break the key. So we should do that. Okay, so they're doing 13. I actually don't want to, well, Gift and Beyond is not going to do anything yet because we do not have the cards to facilitate it, so I will do that. Yep, and now we have Gifted in our which is, yep. Okay, uh, uh, we could let this one exhaust for next turn, but I think this is fine. Um, okay, one more attack and we'll get the block from the Spear Brand. And then one defend here, and then we can kill this one. And then we can just advance this for no reason. I mean, the only reason would be to set up uh, the next set of Ghost Flames. Uh, do that. Pass the turn. And I think we we got him here. So I don't know why I played the Seer. It was not necessary, but okay. Uh, Twelve energy, uh, twelve damage, and retract. And we have Soulburn, uh, gain 5 block. Not bad. Uh, if the enemy has Soulburn, detonate it. That's pretty good. Uh, especially since we already have Seer in the deck. Could, like, help us detonate it a little faster. Um, we'll take that for now. Just It's also a, like, a not bad damage card. Ooh, I don't think I've seen this one. Wandering Spectre. Uh, this area of the spire appears to be a graveyard. You carefully continue through when a strange, faint apparition stops you. It reaches out with both hands, uh apparently offering you some sort of deal. You can tell the apparition is holding some sort of precious relic in each palm, but you can't make up what they are. Uh, but surely a harsh price is being asked in exchange. Obtain Duvu Doll or Darkstone uh, Periat, cursed with haunt twice. Add Ether, uh, add Ether to all cards in your hands. Okay. Curse Key or Calling Bell. It is an extra, it is extra cursed. Okay. Curse Key's really good. Or Blue Candle. Chase Away. Lose 5 HP. Ooh, some of these are good. Like, 
Being extra cursed is kind of fine. We're kind of going with this ethereal build anyway. Haunt's also fine if we thicken up our deck. But I don't think I want two of them because I feel like we'll get to the point where we have no cards in the deck. Eh. Extra strength though. Or Calling Bell here is pretty good. Curse Key this early kind of kind of sucks. Um, but the Calling Bell could be nice. Let's try this. Okay. So we got, oh, extra Cursed Key. Oh, you don't get to pick. Oh, uh, that sucks. Uh, whenever we want to uh, obtain two curses. Okay. Trade for power. <laughs> cursed. Okay, okay. I see how this is going. I'm getting a random rare card. Five makes HP. E. E, E, E. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's no shop, so we'll be stuck with the curse. We'll try it. Shame. But we got another gift from Beyond. Okay. I think I'm fine with this one. I did not really want the extra cursed key. I really wanted the call, the calling bell. I could have dealt with it better. Um, but we are here now. Oh, I don't really want doubt. I don't. I don't want the doubt. Not right now. Um, it's not like inherently good for what we're doing. Okay, Seer, um, let's go ahead and Phantom Fireball to deal eight and then nine more on top of that. Block the one and then gain the extra block from the Spirit Brand. We are actually pretty good. Now Shame is also, is unplayable, it's not ethereal though. Um, let's just double defend. And then we'll float to the next one and then we'll strike. Yeah, we, we have the makings of a halfway decent build. Uh, we need to uh, add some cards though that make it worth it. I think your card to hand it's zero this turn. That's what we want. Unfortunate. Yeah, no, we want Eerie Expedition. There we go. We're figuring out. Uh, break the key. There we go. And then we'll Smith. Uh, this draws an extra card, but I don't think we have quite. We're not quite ready for it. So Expedition is going to be the card we want to go with. All right, what did we get? <laughs> uh, normality and a disease. Retain at the end of your turn, put a cover this card into your discard. Oh, that's gross. Normality is also gross, though. Um, hmm. I think the strike dummy actually will be good right now, just to have some more damage off these strikes. It's three extra damage, so it's like upgrading them. And the sapphire key we can't do yet, but we will have to open another chest to get it. I'm going to take the strike dummy. Because I knew we were going into this fight here. Alright, Eerie Expedition. Phantom Cloak. Ethereal. Uh, gain two decks and lose one straight. That is not worth it for me. But I don't have anything to benefit from it, unfortunately. And also, we started with Disease in the opening hand. That kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to let this go away, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need something to get rid of. Disease. If not, we are going to be in a bad way. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Block. Finish that one. I'm gonna float here. Uh, I did not want the extra defend. Uh, we are gonna take another 10 damage here. Oh, there's the disease. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the bad. <laughs> Does it put three diseases? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I don't actually think we will get out of this fight. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to, uh, I think we will die here. Uh, and we are drawing some cards. Okay, down to 25. But I think we will never draw into anything but disease anymore. Seer, okay, never, actually. Seer, uh, float, draw, defend, play the defend. Oh, we float it. Past it. Yep. Here's our life. Strike. Defend. Defend. Taking 12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Phantom Fireball. Oh, he's dead. We actually got out of this. That's surprising. Uh, <laughs> negate the next two curses. Okay. Not bad. Emerald Key. Actually very good here. Uh, da -da. Our skill to exhaust. And a random card of the opposite type to your hand. 
Uh, we want to be exhausting, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is totally fine. It could cost one less. So where are the sacrifices good here? Yeah, we need to remove disease. It will get us killed. Super fast and in a hurry. Uh, oh, 20 damage. This will kill you. Or I can kill you. I can only play three cards. Um, you, I've already played two, so I need to kill him and defend. Normality strikes again. Ugh, not fun. Um, play the attack. Float here. Uh, defend. Hit him again. Okay. Where are these sacrifice on what? A strike? No, we'll just kill him. What am I doing? I'm trying to do the math on it. Uh, ethereal, 60 damage. That's actually really good. And your hand contains another ethereal card on additional 8 damage. Not bad yet, but I think we just need a big a big punch. And I think uh, Nightmare Strike's pretty good for that. Okay. Oh, you are all having to attack right now. Not really what I would like. Um... Let's float first. Okay. <clears throat> defend, defend. Spirit brand, and then strike to kill. We'll kill this one. And here comes the diseases. Uh, okay, I need to kill one of you. Kill you, I suppose. Worthy sacrifice, and then rain of embers. Does this kill you? I think it does. Yep. Nice. Uh, ethereal, five block, increased, uh, increased, uh, yeah. increased by soul burn on all enemies. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think I want it. Uh, after I draw one card next turn, actually, this is exactly what we want. Power from beyond. Oh, we can rest. I don't know if it's going to help us, but we can rest. Ooh, shop. This is actually super good. Super duper good. Okay. Uh, I want to exhaust... Uh, I mean, I should just do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and damage is increased by soul burn. That's good. I cannot play both of them, but 21 or 20. I think I want to play this one because I want it in the deck. Oh, and we get an additional energy for some reason. Alright. Uh, defend, defend. Hit you with that. Hit you again. Uh, disease. Which... I have enough to remove. Actually, I might not after the the shopkeeper has their way with me. Um, I need to block Visage, which is fine because we have the uh, whatchamacallit card to benefit from. Um, what's what I'm thinking from? We can benefit from, yeah, the soul burn, even though it probably, it will not get to that point. Float, uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. A little bit more damage on them. Worth the sacrifice. Cannot use it. And they are leaving. Oh, we are two dollars short. That sucks. Another nightmare strike would be good. Another ghost last also would be good. Yeah, that's way better. I just hate I can't remove any cards. Okay, retain. Add a random power into your hand. It costs zero until played. It's not bad. Does it go to zero? It does. Can't get it though. Dynamic blow, ethereal. If the active ghost is it ignited, apply twenty soul burn. If it's not deal thirteen damage. Pretty good. Okay, let's smith another card here. Um, draw two cards next turn. Uh, I think I want this twenty sir twenty soul burn or thirteen damage for one. It's pretty good. Okay, oh, bleh. AOE fight. And of course, the disease in the first hand. They really uh, don't like me. Um, nine damage, I can kill one of these, so I'm gonna take 10 any way I do this. Well, actually, you know what, let's strike by these. I run cut, look at that, uh, put a card for your hand on top, just for is yours to play now. Add one of them to your hand, I could add a defend maybe. Let's see, dynamic blow would do 13. I can kill one with this. 14 damage. So I'll take five. Yeah. 
That's fine. Not a lot I could do there. I mean, I could have drank the other potion, but not quite what I want yet. Um, you're dead. Uh, ooh, three here. Heat shield will block me enough. So, works out. I'm not confident that in the boss fight with the disease that we will succeed. <laughs> I think it'll be like the one elite fight we did. Uh, okay. Go slash. Pew pew. Heat metal. Visage is good. Ghost, another ghost slash is also good. Uh, this could be some AoE though, which we kind of need. I think I'll take it. Okay. Eerie Expedition. Another gift from beyond. That is kind of the downside here, because now I have two unplayable cards. Gross. Okay. Gain a little bit from the Spirit Brand. Uh, we're still going to take seven. I don't really want to. Um, 20 damage if fatal. So I can kill you. Take one. Gain a little bit of souls. Okay, wait. Um, where are the sacrifice? Let's get rid of the defend. We're just going to go for killing them. Uh, oh, that's not good for this. Hmm. Okay. And that is it. We will take nine more. Guess I should have kept the defend. I actually could have blocked all of it. Would have been smart. Power post is pretty good, though. Hmm. <laughs> Usually, incorporeal is really good. Just to get uh, intangibility. I don't think I need it now, though, because I think we will die. Ah, we're taking it. Sure. I'm not confident we'll win this anyway. Hit him hard. I'm also going to go ahead and drink this. Um, when the ghost, I'm not activating ghost flames. I guess I'm gonna pass the Well, I more. I guess it is here now. Oh, they got a ship because of that. Oh, anytime we play a zero cost card. Luckily, we don't have a lot of those. Four damage here. I really want to defend twice. Actually, we're defending Soul Burn. Because that'll get us the Spare Brand. Okay. We have the freaking, uh, the diseases in our hands already. Um, if only I could exhaust them, it would be much better here. I'm going to have to play this to do this. Oh, I, I don't get to pick what I exhaust, unfortunately. Alright. I was hoping for more block. I think we're dead here. We are dead, definitely. Too much. <sighs> hey, new unlocks though. Toasty. 14 damage applies to equal to the unblocked damage. Pretty good. Spectral Spark applies 6 soul burns. The active ghost plan is ignited. Extinguish it! And turn, turn, uh, return this card to your hand. Or Searing Strike. Ethereal 10 damage applies 6 soul burn. So this card is exhausted, takes 6 damage. Interesting. So you have to like try to prioritize playing that one. I like it. We will do a, another one, and then we will uh, see if we can do it. Usually, I have to lose one to win one. It seems like to be my uh, mantra. Also, we were a little risky. Uh, remove a card from our deck. Hundred souls. Transform two cards. Twenty-one damage. That's a lot. Um. Which path are we taking? So every path has at least one elite. How many rest we got? Two. Max is three. Kind of like the idea of going this way. Two rest on here, elite. Early shop to spend the 100 souls. Yeah. Let's take the 100 souls. We'll spend them early. Uh, I think I will Smith to start with. Get Seer upgraded. We took the key last time, but we don't have as many shops. Um, and I don't think the Hexaghost benefits as much from the one additional strength as some of the other characters. Hi. Boop, boop. Okay. Uh, do this. Let's float. Uh, do this. Do that. 
try to continue doing our flames. Oh, they're already dead. Awesome. Good, good, good. Um, hmm. AoE is pretty good. You only can use it once though, because exhaust. Ethereal and afterlife. Oh no, you, 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 it's just, never mind, you can still play it. It's just if you don't play it, you still get the benefit. Pretty good. Uh, whatever, play for, four soul burn to the attacker. A big block's always also nice. I think I'll do the spectral whale though. AoE is pretty good for m some of the elites and like some fights like this. It's just pretty nice. So, yeah, now they're both cocooned. Uh, this will kill e either one of them and then I can do that. I actually should have played the attack. I gained the same benefit. I can't remember that. Um, strike. Strike. Works out. Armor tincture. Pretty good. Yeah, I'll play well, apply 12 soul burn to all enemies. Pretty good. I actually really like this. It's just a good, another AoE card. I'll take it. Okay. Um, I'm going to play two attacks if possible. And then we will defend again. Take one. Let's see her. Strike, strike. And they're done. She's just a good card. It does have that delayed like effect to it. However, it is still just really good. Um, Nightmare Guys. Uh, if this card is exhausted, get a Shadow Guys to your hand. It's not bad. It's only 1 for 14. If it, I wish it retained. That'd be really nice. But that's still not bad. Just let it exhaust out. I'll take it. Okay. Another seven coming from you in the back. Strike, strike, strike. Defend. Fully, fully defended there. Let's see. Whale gets one of you down. Um, defend, defend. Float here. Nothing. I hope you're all doing good. I did take, I don't know, a couple days off. I don't think you really, you should have really noticed the, the days I was gone. I was actually out of town. Um, had to do a, some of the family things, but I think I had pretty much everything caught up um, until then. I think we missed one gaming video, but I had an art video uh, that I wanted to post. Which, it was pretty short, but I did want some uh, feedback on it. Um, to see if that's something you guys enjoy. This is gonna be a good one. Um, or, you know, if you want to see more of it, I can, you know, I can always continue to make more of them. I just have not currently because I didn't, I don't know if it's something you guys want to see. Um, and they take a long time to make, so if it's not something you want to watch, you know, I can just keep them for myself and uh, doodle in my free time as it is. Um, but I would love some opinions on that. I know I'm waiting 26 minutes before mentioning that. Uh, I should have mentioned it at the top, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, hopefully I can get some new stuff going. I did record another RimWorld um, video. However, I did not really like it. <laughs> uh, I did one episode, and I think I'm going to change around how I do the RimWorld ones um, and try to make them a little bit more um, fast-paced. They seem to be a little slow. Uh, I think we're going to take Burning Touch. We're kind of building into a Soul Burn build. Um, but I think I'm going to re-record the first one and try to take um, some notes from um, Amphibious, uh, who does RimWorld. I think it's Amphibious Amphibian. I'd have to look at his name specifically. Um, but he's one of the RimWorld people I really like. And he does shorter videos over like a longer room world time and I think I'd enjoy that more cut out some of like the the piddly uh you know piddly stuff you're doing okay we got some money here is there anything we need to remove immediately that I'm not thinking of no we're kind of building into like a soul burn exhaust deck which is pretty nice uh so radiant flame is not that great for us here uh draw two cards all cards in your hand become ethereal exhaust not that great. Whenever you advance or retract, return this from your discard pile to your hand. 
that's not bad to have just consistent damage, but we're not we're not moving very quickly. Um Nunchaku's pretty good, but I don't think we have a lot of zero cost, and I don't know when they exhaust and play afterlife if that counts as them playing. I don't think we have another shop though. I think I'll take the Eternal Feather. I tend to build bigger decks right now. For every five cards, we would heal 15 HP whenever we're in our rest site, which is pretty good when there's no rest sites towards the bosses, and this is so early, I think we can get a lot of benefit from it. We can be, be a little bit more risky. Or we could take Hand of Greed and just really try to stack up the money. That's actually pretty appealing, too. 25 damage is a lot. And we don't really have any directed damage. It's all exhaustible AoE. Actually, I think I like that better. Talk myself into it. I could have also been persuaded to the Eternal Feather, but here we are. Ooh, Old Nail can be reforged. Not too great for us currently. Um, I mean, we're going to take it for now. Uh, the Sapphire Key would be great, but we do not have enough to reforge it. We might by the time we get down there. But Old Nail is really good if you can do it. So, Towel, always really good on the first floor. We got like some of the modded stuff from Hubris, which I can't remember if Hubris is supposed to be. With the downfall suite, um, I, I can never remember. I'm gonna get in here and go Gremlin Knob, the one I'd probably want to see the least. Um, we're gonna float here first. Okay, that that did not work out for us. Try to do that, but I think some of the cards we play will get the afterlife effect. I don't think they count as playing the skills. We're about to find out. Um, it'll be either really okay or really bad for us. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, his strength did not go up more, so we are good here. Oh, Hand of Greed does not work as well, because he's at 50 and he's about dead. I do need to play it, though, uh, so we do not take the damage. Um, but like I said, I am going to bring on some new stuff. Uh, I did start playing um, Darkest Dungeon uh, last week before I had to leave town. I hate the fourth seal. It's not the one I want. Potion rewards don't excite me. Um, heat Crest, Increased by Soul Burn, is pretty good. Um, but I did start playing it, and some other people make it look so easy. Uh, I've watched Thet play it, um, I've watched um, Rhapsody play it, um, and they make the game look so easy. I got it and immediately was like almost losing characters left and right. Um, we're going to take the Mummified Hand here. And it was just unbelievable how, like, bad I was doing, I was like, and how easy I feel like the other uh, people who play it have made it seem, because they were kicking my butt. So I want to play a little bit more of it before I bring it to the channel so I don't look completely uh, completely irrational. Um, we took hand, uh, Mummified Hand because I feel like powers are going to be, are always good. Uh, and reducing the cost, we got some high cost cards here, so making them cheaper is going to be good. I think I'm going to do... Hand of Greed to start with. Heat Crest does get a bigger bonus, but it is a three cost, so it's kind of a like a fight ender. Okay, I think we can also get this one right here. Badoop. Got the souls there. Um, do we really want to advance? We should. I guess we should advance. And then we're gonna put the self flame on them. Okay, oh, Heat Crest deals 20, it will not kill them, but Burning Touch gets its effect. And we do want to defend here for Spirit Brand, and we'll do that. And then I think they will be dead next turn, yep. I, I'm liking what we got going on here. It's a weird little combination kind of thing, because we have other cards where just eat up our draw, so we could use some draw cards. But at the same time, they have pretty good effects for what they are. I think, I think Thermal Transfer is going to be good. I feel like they always almost have Soul Burn. It's just going to 6 damage. But Searing Strike is pretty good too, though. Uh, 14 and 9. I think our damage is kind of good. I think I would l rather have like an Iron Wave type card. Because we have not um, augmented our block at all. I think I will go with... Uh, Heat Crush. Big damage card, just to uh, help with the uh, boss fight here. Okay, um, actually, two attacks. We cannot do that. So, Nightmare Guys to start with. It is two, though. 
Yeah, it's still the right move, I think. Nightmare guys, and then we will sear one of these. Just to prepare to, to execute them off the board. Oh, thermal transfer. Pretty good here. Um, I do not have another attack, so we'll float. Hand of Creed, I can get one of these kills. And I think we are blocked. We're blocked good enough. We, oh, we do take the vulnerability, so we will we'll take four here. I kind of don't want to, so why not take an advancing guard? Just no reason to take damage if I don't have to. And, I, and if I get another post in, it would be a uh, wasted uh, investment, so I might as well play it. All right, come through here. I'm feeling okay about this one so far. Uh, heat crush, boom, 58 damage. And yeah, we did get a potion, so good thing we played it. Um, Phantom Cloak's not bad. Three decks, lose one strength. We are doing uh, Soul Burn a lot, so this would work with it. Next time the target Soul Burn did it, affects all enemies. But this is a power. It also can be a zero cost power. No, it can't. It'll be a one cost. So you can make something else cheaper. I think just having the ability to do that is pretty good. And then maybe we can offset the one strength loss with uh, the uh, ruby key at some point. Okay, so do we have the ability to play two attacks? We do. So we definitely want to do that before we float. Go to the next one. And we'll play one more attack here. And set up Shadow Guys for the next turn. Uh, did not matter. Did not need it. Um, Handy Greed will not get it. This will only be 34. Um, I'm not sure what the best course of action. Six. Is it? Do we wait and loop around for the next one? Could be. Could be. Um, let's go ahead and play Heat Crush. Because I think that will get them as low as possible. And then we have two little enemies that we can work on. Actually, they might die very soon. Alright, we're going to do this. Flames from Beyond will kick in. I'm actually just going to let that put 14 on them. They are, I mean 12 on them. They're dead. Uh, so we just need to survive until then. We'll kill one of you with this. And we're hoping for Hand of Grade. If we get it, we can kill this one. If not, we will not worry too much about it. And they're dead anyway. Pretty nice fight. Um, ooh, Infernal Form. At the start of turn, game one intensity. I love this. However, it is not, it's not the right time for it. Not the right build. Another Spectral Whale could be good. I'm actually really liking the way it's working. I can play it, I can just let it exhaust. Um, it takes up one draw, but I think that's totally acceptable here. So we want to strike, we want to whale, we want to float, we want to strike you again. And then you're gonna get soul burned. Another buffer. Um, so let's actually read him. Uh, energy Thief, whenever the defect generates a void, it goes to the top of my discard pile, so whenever the age puts a void. So we're going to have a little less energy throughout the fight, um, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, he's adding buffers from, uh, I guess, buffer the buffer in his deck, um, and Fossilized Helix gave him one to start with. So we need to keep that in mind. Uh, more, more, um, more Soul Burn's pretty good. I think I want to kind of stack that. Um, I don't really need the block, but there's no reason not to play this. I think it's better that way. Alright, Void on top of my deck. Totally fine. Ooh, 24 coming in. It's kind of, kind of yucky. Um, let's get an Ethereal card. There's some pretty good blocks. Uh, Create a function now. Carnage is pretty good. And Beyond Power is pretty good, but that's Game One Energy next turn. I think just the Carnage for additional damage here. Um... And then I will double double defend, I think. Makes the most sense. We're still going to take some damage. Not going to be a perfect fight, but we can handle that. Heat crush. Oh, the void with the heat crush is upsetting. Uh, we are just going to Nightmare, guys. And let Spectral Well go out. Still do some damage. He's also, his uh, stuff's gone anyway. So it, it's not completely upsetting, but it is a little bit upsetting. Um, Phantom Close will be good here. Let's see what got turn zero. It was this. We also have no attacks, which kind of sucks. Um, I think I want to keep Nightmare Guys in the deck. I'll we'll play the one to Finn. Okay. Uh, Hand of Green here. Float. Thermal Transfer. 24 damage. Still coming in. Still very saddening. Um, I do want to Hand of Green him here. 
24. We did get the 5 from that. Thermal Transfer will give us 7 more block. Uh, I should have played Armor Tincture. We're going to take 12, so we're still okay. It's just a little dicey. Alright, down to 13. Uh, 6 coming in. That's fine. I cannot play a power here. Um, but I can hit him a fair bit. Oh, that's okay. Should have thought about that. Okay, Heat Crush. There's only 29. He's doing 10. Ugh, so I can't Heat Crush at all. I need to play a power, but that I don't have. Or float past it. Uh, I could Carnage in this, which will take 3. Armor Tincture. I'm actually going to play this here. I'm going to do this. The Dark Art is going to move up, but I still need to continue to do damage to him. Okay, Hand of Greed's 33. Oh, he might. It's 24. Plus 5 is 29. Oh, and he's doing 24 to me. Oh, is he going to get me? That's really sad. We were so close. Cause I, and I can't play any power. I mean, it's going to be this. And that, we are four damage short. That sucks. I feel really good about that one. But it is what it is. We'll try again with the hexagos. I just, I can't get, get it right. Like, I feel like I just take too much damage. I never get the block ratio uh, corrected. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.